Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can create custom camera passes just with command blocks without any mods. I did this concept two weeks ago and since then I developed it further so you can now combine different camera positions and you can easily get the commands just through a Google Sheet so you don't have to calculate anything anymore, the Google Sheet will do it for you and it's super simple to use and I really recommend trying it out so let me show you how you can do it. Basically you don't need the rest of this video because you will find all instructions in the document but I quickly want to go through them so you can see how it's done. So first of all we need to create a copy of the document so we can change it. Therefore just go to file and make a copy and uh, do that. Then it will take a while to open it and load it up and now you've got a version where you can type something in. Uh, so uh, we need to run some commands in our Minecraft world next. Therefore just take the command here and then put it in uh, the chat. So that's adding a um, objective that we'll use to teleport us around. Then next up we need to change this game rule. I already did that, but that's all right. Uh, that will stop the command blocks uh, from spamming the chat. And uh, then next we need to create a command block. Um, yeah, command blocks that get triggered 20 times per second. There are two ways in which you can do that. The first one you can see right here, use that for the intro. It's uh, the old fashioned command block clock with redstone blocks that are always getting filled. It's done by having one command block filling the coordinates with stone. Uh, it's the one that is further in the negative on the axis and then one that's filling it with redstone blocks, same coordinates and that will create this clock. So these command blocks here get triggered uh, 20 times per second. I will disable this now because we want to create a new clock. Uh, the second way, if you're in snapshots, uh, you can of course use the new command blocks. So you just get some repeat command blocks and put them like so. And this will do the trick as well because these get triggered 20 times per second. So let's take a look what we need to do next. Uh, next we need to fill in the start coordinates and the stops uh, with the flight duration to the stop. So that's this stuff over here, the blue boxes. And um, then we can uh, quickly do that. So let's say we want to create a yeah movie or a... Uh, time lapse out of the city again. Let's say we want to always focus the fountain this time. So what I would do now uh, is just I will take a look at the coordinates where I am. I need the x, y, and z, and then also uh, the angles in which I'm turned, and I will put them into the list. So let me speed this up so that's going real quick for you. So that's my coordinates that I want to use and uh, one thing to note, this is wrong now a little bit because over here you can see that it jumps from 180 to one, uh, minus 136 uh, and that's just because uh, when Minecraft goes to 180 degrees uh, then it will jump back to minus 180. So what we'll have to do over here is um, add 360 degrees so we are turning from 180 to 224 uh, which is all right and I made a mistake over here and just seen that and now what we can do is just add um, the times I would do I think uh, five then maybe seven six and uh, let's do uh, yeah, nine maybe that's in seconds of course if you want to do a time lapse then you should um, yeah, keep in mind that you want to speed it up afterwards so you t uh, should take the times longer so for example if I would want to speed it up to four times the speed I would choose instead of five seconds uh, 20 seconds because that's divided by four five um, and then you can see already that it's creating commands over here and these are the ones that we now need to paste into the command blocks it also says it over here Sometimes the copying is a little bit uh, weird in here for me now. So if I do copy, it says I can't copy it and then I can copy it. So you can copy those cells and then you need to go to your command blocks and just 
select always the complete range and just paste and then you will see that the complete command is put together even though the cells here are technically calculated. Um, so let me do this again. Copy, okay, and then copy it and put it into the next one and that's just what you're going to repeat. And when you're done with your last one, all that's left to do is just to run this command here. Of course, we need to power up our command blocks first or start our redstone block clock. And then if we start this, we'll activate the whole system so you can enjoy now the time lapse that we've put together. Of course, this is now a little bit starry because it's just 20 teleports per second, so just 20 frames per second. But if you speed it up, it will look extremely smooth. And as you can see, the points that I um, just set into this are extremely uh, well interpolated. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a great day!